Okay, so this one's coming to us from the Daily Breeze. Inglewood mayor accused of stalking $342,000 a year assistant after she ended the relationship. Melody McDade Dickens also alleges she was suspended from her job in retaliation for ending the tryst with Mayor James T. Butts Jr. This man's name is James T. Butts. If his campaign slogan wasn't, let's put butts in the seat, his, regardless if you want or not, campaign manager needs to go. <laughs> and yes, this video does kind of just only uh, exist so I can make that joke. But either ways, it also is a good backdrop for a huge complaint that I have personally with urban and... Um, you know, uh, urban municipal spending, like urban and county spending, it's just, it's bananas, particularly in the, these urban zones. And I believe Inglewood falls underneath that, uh, that title. But yeah, let's, let's check, let's check her on out. I mean, you know, she bad, like good bud, you know, you can, good bud, you can smell through the bag. Good, uh, good body you can see through the clothes and, uh, yeah, yeah, she, I, she bad. This, who, this is the guy, this is James, this is Mayor James, but he literally looks like every character from The Wire. <laughs> like, like, mixed together, he looks a little bit like, yeah, he looks like a little bit like Clay Davis and, um, you know, the, like the rest of the corrupt politicians all wrapped together in one. Jason, this is written by Jason Henry. In a widening city hall soap opera that appears headed to court, Inglewood Mayor James T. Butts Jr. has been accused of stalking and harassing his $342,000 a year assistant for more than a year after she ended a nearly decade-long tryst with him. That is $432,000 this singular woman was making at the behest of this elected official. And that's all taxpayer money. That's all it's happened. Bruh. <laughs> like, bruh. I mean, really, the cat was that good? I mean, she bad? She definitely, she definitely catch strokes, but my goodness. Like, you know, I think 100000 is more than enough for anybody to be, like, really chill living on. But no, no, no. That's the thing. Not according to your local governments seriously no matter who you are where you're from go look at how much these cats is, are making on you know taxpayer dimes and it's just like word like you making that much when and then check your um local median income put the two and two together see 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 how that add up for you an attorney for Melanie McDade Dickens alleges she was suspended from her job in retaliation for the breakup and is now likely to be fired. Well, yeah, sure. You, what? What? You thought you was going to keep making $340,000 a year, a year and, and not be smashing and not be putting the cat up? Like, bro, what part of the game is this? You, you, you already stacked. Like, well, you should be, but, you know, spending habits, right? She was an exemplary employee who has never once been uh, sanctioned. No, nah, you don't say. <laughs> Yo, he's shmeat in the back of your throat. Yeah, he ain't gonna be sanctioning you, I right? Never once written up. Never once disciplined. Oh, well, I mean... I don't know what they was into, but probably attorney Carl Douglas said in a letter to the city that is until she told the mayor, no, I don't want, I want to live my life without you. Wait, so what? You thought you was going to keep that job for real? Hold on. Like you, you know, if he the reason you making that bread, right? Hold on. Like, it, you're like, okay, I want to live my life without you. Thusly, you want, you are there, therefore saying, if you want out, then be out. And that includes the job. That includes every, take everything you came with. Wow, yo. 
Wow, bold, man, bold. Douglas said she plans to file a lawsuit as soon as the city makes a decision about her employment, which could come as soon as next week. Through her attorney, McDade McDickens, or McDade Dickens alleges the mayor entered her home unannounced on more than a dozen occasions using a garage opener he had from when they were in a relationship. She also alleges the mayor followed her to a beauty salon and was captured on a surveillance camera placing a device on her vehicle. Douglas has said the well where's the device hold on where's the device if there if he put a device on your vehicle then you should have did you go to the mechanic and get that popped out and you will now have that as evidence Douglas said other city hall employees have witnessed the mayor screaming at McDade Dickens during office hours yeah because like yo you, the relationship had, had, had taken a bad turn and now like yo like that you can't I'm telling you man telling you man like it's i i did that video and i said is it proof it has it been proven that men and women can work together you know like because like you just can't tell when or how chemistry gonna pop off between two individuals and so i mean i don't know but either ways if he is responsible if someone is responsible for your lavish lifestyle and you tell that person you don't want you know you don't want to be a part you don't want to have anything to do with them. Well, where do you expect that lavish lifestyle to go, darling? Okay? I mean, play your part or get found on the, or, 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 or dead. It's cool. It's your choice. You you made this choice, so why are you tripping? Mira Hashmal, an attorney for the city, denied the allegations of stalking, harassment, and retaliation, calling them fabrications. Hashmal said and city officials still refuse to address whether Butts and McDade Dickens were in a relationship, despite repeating question, the, the re repeated questioning about it. Rumors of the relationship have circulated among residents for years. Yeah, uh, $342,000 a year. $342,000 a year, bruh. Relationship brought up in court. Uh, Mc the but butts and McDade Dickens previously declined to answer questions. You know, all this stuff kind of gets into like the weeds, and I really just want to stay focused on that's all taxpayer dollars, <laughs> like, and as as well as you know, I, the butts joke. And if no matter who you are, where you're from, go find out how much your uh your elected officials is making. And then go put that against the median income of, you know, the the, the medium household income. It, you, you, you'll be a little like, the, 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 the fuck? <laughs> like, I promise. <clears throat> uh, pardon me. So, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it, like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day, share. Because sharing is caring. And YouTube and BitChute and like aren't the biggest fans of you boy over here. Bang the bell for notifications. Because, you know, if you're going to sub, why not? You know, stick around and get some more of the fire and speak. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? Um... Like, it, it, like, just, like, I'm like, I'm more irritated about the three hundred and forty-two thousand dollars a year thing, and this is just for a single assistant. And it, so, what do you think that everybody else that's in your government is really making, really bringing home? And then ask yourself, why is life so much more expensive now? Seriously, ask yourself that, and let me know what you come up with in the comments. Until the next one.